Chatty Dad One here coming at you today. I uh, felt the need to do some uh, to let you guys know what's going on in Turkey. I'm sure you've heard some of it, but there has been an absolute media blackout since midnight last night. Um, <clears throat> what I have seen today is a rehash of yesterday's and the day before pictures and news. It has gone totally out of control. It started out with a protest sit-in against the uh, government there because they wanted to turn a park into a mini-mall and the people didn't like it and they wasn't going to have it. So they did a sit-in peaceful protest. Well, it kind of got a little out of control. The police started using tear gas, firing at the people in so much that the air became thick with smoke it looked like smog over there I've seen some uh, some reports from news reporters and they were coughing and choking on the tear gas and they was three or four stories up on the balcony of their motel room that's how bad it was um, <clears throat> like I say it has gone totally out of control they've shut down Twitter and Facebook and they've restricted the use of cell phones in tweeting and um, sending messages to other people and people have come out in the hundreds of thousands out it's an all-out pretty much an all-out war against the police and the actions that had they have used they have they have been using tear gas rubber bullets water cannons and chemicals like pepper spray mace and stuff like this they have shot people in the head with tear gas canisters and killed them they have used water cannons to the extent that people have been killed by the water cannons they have gassed and uh, used pepper spray so much on people that they have died from shock and from pain and just being inundated with these chemical agents that they're using on these people it is absolutely just going up in flames people are mad as hell and they're not taking it anymore over there and it is spreading the uh, the last thing that I heard last night is that police were retreating that the military had joined in with the people in fighting the police and that these people were taking stuff back now I don't know what's gone on today because like I say I'm only seeing old stories from yesterday and stuff but these people are fighting because you know of the way that the cops treated these people I mean you know they're calling it Bloody Friday but like I say I've I, you know I tried to go back on and see some of the sites that I saw yesterday and some of them have been taken down but all this stuff is from a couple of days ago all these pictures I've seen nothing new on this and this is why I am coming out and you know I want to tell people about this and let people know because it's not being reported on by the mainstream media they did report on it for a little while what they were saying is that it was just a small protest and the police had it under control and blah 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 well it's apparent that the police don't have it under control and that they have lost control and the people are kicking some serious butt on the police over there there have been dozens killed if not hundreds so far um, you know go on there and ch go check it out there's a lot of a lot of reports on it um, there's a lot of conflicting information because there's no official anything anymore because the government is just about fallen the people uh, I mean it's just plain it's just total anarchy right now over there 
and uh, the word is not getting out. But this is what it started out as, a sit-in, stopping the bulldozers from bulldozing the park that these people wanted. Um, gas masks are, uh, you know, very popular right now over there. Like I say, this is from a couple days ago, all these pictures. What's gone over there now, I have no idea, but I know that it's bad. Because uh, the police struck out real hard right before they turned tail and run. But, uh, you know, they've got all these FEMA vehicles. They've got these big tanks and trucks and stuff. They've got the major stuff, and these people ain't taking their crap no more. They've had it. Something maybe that what we need to do, but this thing is spreading like wildfire, like a cancer. People are taking their country back. And you can see, I mean, look at that. This guy's knocked off his feet by that water cannon. <clears throat> I mean, people were shooting, these cops were shooting people in the head with these tear gas canisters and killing them. They're using rubber bullets killing people. You know, they are out of control. Like I say, I don't know what's going on now. I don't know that anybody does outside of Turkey. But Istanbul is totally up in flames. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I know that a lot of stuff has been destroyed. A lot of people have been hurt. A lot of people have been killed. There was an emergency room that was tear gassed. There were subways that people were trapped underneath the subway and gassed for hours. They were trapped down there. And, you know, people are just infuriated. They're not taking it anymore. They took all they can stand from this government, and they're not putting up with it anymore. This is, uh, I'll put a link to these things down below. This is the Bloody Friday article that's, um, it's a, this is a pretty good one. Explains a lot of things. Um, shows what's, what was going on. Um, you know, the aftermath and what happened, what was going on during it, what caused the police to get upset, what caused the people to get upset was the reaction of the police. They were out of control. Just like they're out of control here, they were out of control there. And they got their butts handed to them as far as from what I'm hearing. Now, we might find out in a couple days that, you know, the police got, you know, took control back, but I don't think so. This guy ended up, uh, um, this report says this guy here ended up dead. This is a subway where they trapped him at. You know, people were hurt bad. This woman ended up dead. I mean, look at that. This might be uh, supposedly non-lethal means of crowd control, but when you've got these chemicals you're spraying at somebody in their face and they're breathing it in, you're going to die. Plain and simple, you're going to die if you're breathing in toxic chemicals in your lungs and get them in your eyes and you're just going to go into shock and die. But I'll put a link to this below. Look at the, look at these people on this bridge. Look at that. There's thousands of people. I mean, these people were pissed. They are furious, and they're not taking it anymore. Um, I guess everything's up in the air right now. Like I say, I haven't seen anything new on it. <clears throat> Because there is a media blackout, a media freeze. They're portraying it like it's still, they're still reporting on it, but there's no reporting going on. Because everything has been stopped. You can go check it out. You can read the articles from two days ago. It'll say it's from today, but go back and check it out. It's the same article as two days ago. Same stories being told, same pictures being shown. They're just sharing them around a little bit, mixing them up. These pictures were from a couple days ago. These are not new pictures. I can't find any new pictures. They say they're from today, but I've gone back and checked, and they are not from today. They are from yesterday and the day before yesterday. So, 
nothing new that I've seen. And that's a big, big, bad sign. Um, who knows? They might call for the UN to come in there and, and, and squash the, this thing. Quell this rebellion. And if they do that, I say shame on them. Because these people have all the right to take their country back from these tyrants, these thugs. This is what needs to happen to tyrannical dictators. They need to be taken down. This is uh, what I got, okay, off of a page that I was looking at. Now look at here. Towns don't need tanks. This is an article from ACLU. The militarization, militarization of police in America. This article here was taken down right after I got done looking at it. And I'll show you where I got the proof there to show it. I uh, saved it. <clears throat> Thank goodness I had a screenshot of it or I would have never been able to prove I had it in the first place. Um, but yeah, interesting article. I'll put the link there too. Now this is what I got back when I tried to go back to the article. See it? Down. This is the first one. Down. Um, not available. Not available. Crap, I messed up on my screenshot there. I, I uh, meant to catch that. Um, let me see if I still can catch that. I'll see if I can still catch it for you guys. Oh, too far. Okay, let me see if I can catch this for y'all. Because, uh, I've still got it up. Let me go back to my, uh, history and show y'all. I believe I've got the full screen being captured here. And if it'll show me long enough, I'll show you where that was. Um, and it's right here. Not available. Not available. See that? Not available. So, uh, you know, and I had a bunch from last night that was uh, not available, too. But anyway, um, back to what I was getting at. Um, you know, I'm doing this because these people need some... They, it, the world needs to know what's going on here. Uh, this, is, this is sad. This is a crime against humanity. And they need to be, you know, it needs to be reported on. It doesn't need to be swept under the rug or, you know, quieted down. It needs to be talked about. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I'll put the links below to these articles. God bless. Good luck to us all. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. You can use it as currency. Um, even if you don't have a firearm, buy the ammo. It'll come in useful. God bless, good luck to us all. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns or you right go right along with them. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Chatty Dad 1, over and out.